had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. I know there's an achievement for absorbing every bit of local history and culture, but I have high doubts that I'll be able to get that achievement through this playthrough, but, you know, I'm just reading everything I can. Of course, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but if you guys want to, you can just pause the video or something if you want. But other than that, yeah, I'll try my Seriously, best. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, Do and everything's just... Do you understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. All right, talk to Rusty. Okay, so go out here. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake, I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't oh. stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Alright, I know where that is. Okay, boy. We're almost there. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's have a laugh on Barry! Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Does Barry ever stop talking? Yeah, it's probably an obvious no. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Poor dog. If you have finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. 
We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know, I just don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. I'd love to rent a log cabin in this kind of nature. It looks so relaxing. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al! Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth it. Well, I'll leave Barry to his allergies for Lock now. Lock the door when I leave. Okay, another coffee thermos. Can't open that. Oh, batteries, I'll need those. Yes, viewers, never be afraid to search rooms because you will find some interesting stuff. Oh, let's get a move on. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Watching the door now. Oh, another coffee thermos. Kind of a shame we lost all of our weapons, but I don't know. Guess we'll have to find them all over again, but what can you do? Alright, let's get to Lover's Peak. I see another manuscript. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Nothing inside the shed. Wait, use. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. Wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, 
and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I suppose not. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Hope those birds don't come back and try to rape me. There's something in here. It's another radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. God, what's your dear best plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever Oh, shit. Planned. Hello? Somebody out there? Guess not. If somebody's playing a joke on me, it's really funny. You can cut it out now. Okay, so not much in that cabin back there. What have we got here? Another cabin. This one does not look too good. Okay, then. Anybody want to watch some Night Springs? I don't. Let's get out of here in case they come for me. A oh, little gazebo. Yeah, sometimes there's hidden pathways you gotta keep an eye out for, like little hiking trails. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her. And she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. So far, it's not sounding too good. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Rusty, damn. Rusty, hang on! Oh, I'm coming! Please, help me!
Where is he? Oh, he's in there. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Help! Help me! Hello? Back here! I'm back here! Hey! Mr. Wake? <laughs> Oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. All right, well, let's hurry up and try to grab it. All right, all these doors are locked, just making sure. Sometimes when you're in a place at the beginning, it's almost different every time than when you come back. Okay, yeah. Uh, don't want to forget. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Hold on. I know there's something around back here. If there even is a back way. Oh, yep. Curiosity sparked my interest. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. We'll need those. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. They're back. Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Very, he's one of them now. Who purges a part? License! Obey! The perpetrator's instructions! Yeah, at all times! Raise one of the speedy taken! Rusty, no! Never! Never approach! Two bears and wolves! Never approach! 
any other world closer than I hold still. Pets must be Away from me. To remove any from the part. Shit, reload. Oh, great. Okay, I think we're good now. Let me restock on that ammo and let's get a move on. Something's knocking those trees down. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Oh, it wants me to go that way. Okay, we we'll want to miss this manuscript. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young, and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Oh, good. An emergency box. I wonder what it has. Hopefully a flare gun. Nope. Oh, well. Yeah. Alright, lover's Lover speak. peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Just up ahead. Hold on, there's like a hidden cache around here. I think it's over here. Nope. On oh, the arrow on that rock is pointing over here. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. This thing's a little tricky sometimes. Great. There's more of them. Oh, crap. I know. Watch your back. Hold on. Where's that rock again? I know... It's easy to get lost here sometimes. Okay, yeah, over here. Pointing that way. Oh, duh. I didn't see this. Hopefully he has something good. Sometimes these hidden caches lead you to unspeakable places and sometimes they have taken Wayne just a well on your ass moonshine cave uh 
Oh, well, shotgun. We'll need that. What's in here? Lithium batteries. Alright. That'll do. Let's get out of here. Wake looks so fit, yet yeah, he gets tired so easily. Alright, hope Lover's Peak isn't too far. I know it's just up here. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too, knew a lot about what was going on in the town, knew a lot about Al, even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. I don't think there's much here, just that manuscript page, unless there's a coffee thermos, which I don't know. There's a truck. Oh, great. The area's like this, there's Taken bound. Where are they? I don't know, I want to find out, I just want to get to Love Speak. Time to observe the history here. Oh my god. Well, that one took a lot of flashlight power. The great old one. Ouch. So as I'm making this video, my birthday is only actually like three days away, so I think I might make a special vlog for that. Like showing, I don't know, maybe a few things of what I got, and, uh, maybe showing my gaming setup, my room, you know, just stuff like that. Make it a little special, I guess. Alright, I hope that's the peak right there. This video is, like, almost a half hour long. Oh, no. Start, start, start. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason, packed with supplies. Batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Someone smashed the phone.
terrific. Oh, crap. Oh! Ow! Back off. Shit. Oh, crap. Oh, my goodness. Oh, crap. Crap. Maybe I should stick to the road and just pick them off right in the middle of it. Okay, let's not die this time. <laughs> A long time ago, I used to be pretty good at this game. Got a reputation to protect. Oh my god. This guy's an asshole. That's right. There we go. Okay. Nothing over here. Guess not. Alright, let's reach the peak. This video is pretty long already. Oh, hold up. What's this? Nothing, I guess. Uh, at first I thought that was a manuscript. Yeah, okay. Secret area, almost. Got a coffee thermos. Anything else? Alright, let's get moving. Oh yeah, we gotta jump over this fence. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch at any cost. Well, we're getting close to the gondolas. That can't be good. Oh no. Oh crap. Come on, 
down. We gotta get moving. More of them coming. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. <laughs> 